What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video with Two Rows Performance. Today we're working on Project Grey Matter and uh, we got a lot to do. I just ran to the steel supply shop and uh, picked up this chunk of tubing. It's one, one by two square tubing. It's eighth inch thick. Really nice tubing. That's what the guy recommended for what I'm doing. I'm going to build my transmission cross member today. Get that all cut out, drill some holes, get it mounted and get my trans set where it needs to be. And then I can tighten up the motor mounts on the engine and mark them so I know where I'm going to have my engine sitting. Then I can pull my engine and trans out and I can start cutting a little bit more and build my firewall. We're going to try and get that done today and see what else we can do. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, there's pre-drilled holes in the frame right there and right there. And also on this side right there and right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the trans cross member at a bit of an angle like that. So it'll sit between the holes and then all I have to do is just weld the tab on each side. And then I can just bolt it down and be done. I like that a lot. That way I... Uh, don't have to really worry too much with mounting. What I'm going to do is mark all over this where the uh, trans mount sits on the cross member so that I can pull it off and then I'll be able to just mark it, measure it out, and drill a couple of holes to mount that. And then I'm going to mark with a sharpie where that sits on the frame and everything so that I can uh, work with it accordingly. So. Getting close, pretty easy cross member, honestly. So I uh, I used my magnetic angle finder right here. I used it on the output shaft and then the input shaft on the differential. And when I was looking at it and everything, with this sitting on that cross member, it puts me at within three degrees of each other, which is where I want to be. So perfect super excited all I have to do now is just uh, measure seven times and drill a couple of holes weld on some tabs and we're done <laughs> the nice thing is these don't have to be absolutely perfect I'm gonna wallow them out just a little bit so uh, I'm going to have to run to the hardware store and get some bolts, but when I do, I'm going to wall them out just a little bit bigger than that, and that way it gives me like an eighth inch of play back and forth so that I can get it lined up and get it in. I'm not too worried about it because I, I was thinking about doing slotted holes, but I'm probably not going to do slotted just because I've got a, a couple of step bits, so I'll just use those. But just going to make it a little bit bigger, give me a little bit of wiggle room, and a little bit of adjustment if needed. Bought some 7 16 uh, bolts, and I've got it bolted to the power glide and bolted to the mount and everything. Alrighty, so it looks like this is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to uh, drill a hole in each end, right there, and right there, and just... Uh, have the cross member sit at an angle and just bolt it down to each side so it's gonna have one bolt in each side I'm really not worried about it I think it'll be plenty strong so sweet that's all I have to do now I just have to climb underneath and figure out how to mark it from underneath where it uh, where I need to drill the holes 
I'll drill some holes, I'll buy some bolts, and call it a day. Heck yeah. Pretty excited. Alrighty, we're going to do a little bit of shop organizing, cleaning up. Get a cherry picker in here and pull this engine out. Let's do it. I got my engine and trans out. Hopefully for one of the last times. It's really cool to see skeleton in there and everything. Sweet. Well, there's a lot of stuff I need to do. So I very quickly welded a chunk of angle iron in my cross member. You can't really see too well. But I notched my cross member out before putting my engine in because I was told that the truck oil pan would hit the... Uh, the stock cross member and unfortunately with the swap mounts I bought it clears and I had already cut it so I need to buy some steel while the engines out and uh, whew, weld up that cross member make a little support I'll probably just throw a cap on each side and a bar across and call it a day be done with it whatever um, it'll be fine um, I don't really have much more room that first hoop right there is about that far from the back of the engine so I'm gonna have to frame up my firewall and basically my firewall is going to come down right where that right where that cut is it's just going to come straight down from that and I got to start bracing and getting ready I pulled the steering column out it was just two bolts it was really easy and I pulled the cover off this and this is quite a problem so I was hoping to just cut all that out completely remove it didn't really care until I just realized that that holds the wiper motor. So I definitely want that. I want windshield wipers. That's important to me because this car will be driven on the street. And if I run into rain, I don't want to not have windshield wipers. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with that yet. Um... I'll probably pull that blower motor out just to save the five pounds of weight just because it's useless anyway. And leave the windshield wipers in there and then, I don't know, trying to think that out, trying to decide. Um, this is the difficult part. Um, I'm not exactly sure what to do. I've never fabbed up a firewall before. Um, I don't know, just kind of... A little stumped right now trying to figure it all out so just gonna keep sitting here thinking and going through my mind and I'm sure we'll come up with something alrighty so we didn't get nearly as much as I wanted to done today like always but we got the transmission cross member built we got the engine and transmission pulled out and I did spend a good part of the day just kind of deciding what I'm gonna do for a firewall so I also let me show you real quick I also got my steering wheel and steering shaft pulled out, so that's good. I'll be able to uh, make a little bracket off this mounting point and just extend it and bring my steering wheel out towards me for when I mount my seat, make it a little more comfortable. So that's pretty awesome. Got my cross member, you can see it down there, built, mounted, and all good to go. And we got my 6.0 and power glide out, so I can start working on this firewall. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I spent a good part of the day planning and just kind of just kind of deciding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these cuts up a little bit more. I'm going to straighten that cut out. I'm going to get rid of this carrier and just do a custom carrier. And I am going to um, just going to do a sheet metal cover right there. Just drop it down over the trans and seal off from the cab and we'll call it good. I think I'm going to... Uh, I wanted to remove this completely, but I can't because it's the wiper assembly and I want wipers still. So I'm going to cut right here, cut right there, and just take this corner out. That way I can run my intake tube back out and then shove it right down there. 
and get some fresh air and seal it off from the engine and get nice cold air intake. So that's the plan. Um, I'm just putting everything away. I've been having to commute about an hour each way to get down here and work on the car. Hopefully soon though, we'll be moving the car up to my house and I will get a lot more done. Um, we got big things coming, big progress being made. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends if you like this build. We got a lot more coming for this channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.